All right, everybody. So we've got the 790 MC 101 put together. Now the big question is, will it run? Will it cut? So before you do anything else, go ahead, hit that like button for me. We'll go ahead and we'll get started here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tell you now, we assembled it with one of the uh, ignition chips, and it did not like that at all. I went outside to go out to start it, and it was the exact same problem that the Super Pro 125-101AA it, it kind of had in everything, similar problems. Because of all the compression, trying to pull it over fast enough was kind of an issue. And uh, I would put a bunch of fuel down, little fuel, a bunch of fuel, anything like that. And uh, it wouldn't, it, it would run, but it was extremely difficult to start. It's like you can't turn these fast enough with the compression on it. So off camera, I put points inside of it. Uh, the uh, points that had come originally on the engine itself, I took them out. Put them right back in. Uh, they were gapped perfect. And would you know it, I had great and really great spark and everything and at low pole speeds. So went outside and lo and behold, on the third pole, it fired over and ran. So I'll go ahead and we'll show that. Um, I'm making this intro part way after the fact and everything. So, but uh, yeah, it uh. Very surprisingly, it runs very nice with that Walbro WB37 uh, carburetor and the adapter I put I made for it, and it just it's it's fantastic. It loves every moment of it. So we'll go ahead and we'll skip to those running videos here and everything. The first running ones, I I think I've got them in the garage and stuff like that. It was nighttime, and I was like, I gotta, I gotta test this. I gotta see if it works and everything. So we'll go ahead and skip to that. And then if you saw the video of me spinning, how I spin a chain and everything and whatnot, you'll see us put a bar and chain on it. And then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll see if it cuts and if it likes that or not.
So, as you see, after putting the bar and chain on it, the idle drops slightly, but it's perfect right there. The chain just bumps forward a little bit and everything. So, I figured it was a ready-go test, and it was. But what you're about to see, it didn't like something. And, uh... Halfway through the cut, you'll notice it fell on its face. I was putting my weight on it while I'm putting it, and it was eating, and then halfway through, fell down, and I finished up the cut, but you'll see it didn't like something. And uh, I have a theory as to what happened, so we'll go ahead and we'll show that right there. And it has a high idle, and it was consistent the whole time, and you'll see why. See if we can go figure that out. So, after doing the uh, first cut there, uh, I was thinking to myself, "All right, what gave out?" Uh, you know, so first thing I did, I checked the I, I checked the uh, PTO seal on the uh, clutch side. No, that wasn't it. And I checked around the carburetor adapter, you know, maybe it vibrated, maybe something there. Nope, that wasn't it either. But as you saw, I sat there with the carb cleaner and I sprayed it right on the intake gasket. And would you have it? It either sucked in some sealant or it sucked in a, a gasket or something like that. Something it didn't like right there. Whether the weight caused something to shift or whatever. So we're going to have to go back in and take that apart and I, I knew I kind of took a chance on using the uh, the thinner gasket material the felpro I've had good results in the past of it but with this tank as you saw during assembly you have gasket spacer which is your insulation to help keep heat and everything and then another gasket well the factory ones are thicker ones much thicker size and everything and I use the thin felpro ones and I it's still a theory here I haven't taken it apart yet or anything but I used the Emoto seal on it and everything. I mean, I was very meticulous, let it dry, assemble, and whatnot. But apparently, it didn't like something like that. It might just be, and it seems like it's leaking out the back because the tank may be sitting at a slight angle. So there was enough Moto seal and everything, what there, whatnot to be there. But in the end, it, uh, it might have sucked in a gasket or something and caused a big old issue. So. Thanks to Brian Jenrich, though, I contacted him after this happened. We have got much thicker, 1 16th inch thick gaskets. Two of them should help space out much, much better for this. And I knew I was taking a chance on it, but I was going to see how far I could go with it. And halfway through one cut, it didn't like it. So we've got these 1 16th inch thick ones versus the 1 32nd inch Felpro ones, which I've noticed with those as they sit out, they dry up and get a little brittle and go even thinner. So they may not squish as well after it sits in a dehumidified dried air and it's winter time and everything and the house I keep try to keep it about 55% humidity but in the end they just dry up so I'll have to figure something out with that but with these thicker ones he's got available and everything we're gonna put those on there and we're gonna try it again and I'm pretty sure that's what the problem was it just wants a th a thicker gasket overall so we'll have to come and join me for what went wrong and we're going to get back into that saw and we're going to get it running and cutting like it should. You know, of course, it wouldn't have been, you know, it, it, it's just how it is, I guess, you know, my luck, maybe. So I, I took that chance. It was in the back of my mind, maybe benefit of it out on this and everything. So 
We'll get in there. We'll do that. Hopefully you guys will join me for that. Go ahead. And like I say, please hit that like button. They've changed the analytic analytics on this on YouTube to be able to do this and uh, subscribe and stuff. We will get back to that saw. I promise we will get that thing put in wood. It will make proper cuts. I was really hoping to be able to have that thing good and ready and whatnot. And it's just mm, it's always something. So, all right. Like I say, thanks for watching. And uh, we're going to we'll get her on the table here really soon. Hope you guys join me for that.